Lesson 10.3D, Identify Equivalent Expressions Using Properties. Properties of operations can be used to identify equivalent expressions. We look at the operations in the expression to guide us. And remember, more than one property may be used. So for a quick review, the commutative properties say we can add or multiply in any order. The associative properties say we can group differently. We'll get the same answer. Identity properties say the number won't lose its identity. For addition, if we add 0, we're still going to have the same number. And if we multiply by 1, we're still going to have the same number. They're still going to have the same identity. Remember, the distributive property states multiplying by a sum or difference is the same as multiplying by each number than adding or subtracting. So we can do 4 times 3, which is 12, plus 4 times 2, which is 8, or we could just add 3 plus 2 is 5 and do 4 times 5. We'll get the same answer. And if we're subtracting, we can do 5n minus 5 times 1. Here we have 7 times y plus 4. We see a semicolon and then 7y plus 28. We're comparing 7y plus 4 to 7y plus 28. And the expressions are separated by a semicolon. Here we've got 3 plus x compared to 1 third times 9 plus x. We can use the distributive property on this expression, 1 third times 9 plus 1 third times x. 1 third times 9, we can write the 9 over a 1 and multiply straight across. It gives us 9 thirds, and that simplifies to 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. And then we have 1 third x, so no. 3 plus x is not equal to 3 plus 1 third x, so no, they're not equivalent. We had to use the distributive property on this expression to find out. Here we're comparing this expression, 6 minus 6 plus 3v. We're comparing it to 3v. And the order of operations tells us to add or subtract from left to right, whichever comes first. We have subtraction first, 6 minus 6 is 0. We have 0 plus 3v. And the identity property of addition says that adding 0 won't change its identity, so we have 3v equals 3v. Yes, they're equivalent. The expression 4x plus 2x represents the total number of books that Bob bought for x dollars each. So we bought four books for x dollars and two books for x dollars. So which property was applied to write the equivalent expression 2x plus 4x? We have the associative property of addition. Well, that's the grouping one with parentheses, so it's not that one. The commutative property of addition? Well, the commutative property says that we can add in any order. We have 4x plus 2x, then we have 2x plus 4x might be this one. Let's look at the other ones. Distributive property? No, we're not distributing anything here. Identity property of addition? We're not adding zero. So, if you thought that it was the commutative property of addition, you're right. It was B. We just changed the order. Are these equivalent? We have A plus 2, and we're comparing it to 2, times 6 plus a. We can use the distributive property and do 2 times 6, which is 12, and 2 times a, which is 2a. There's a plus sign there, so we're going to put a plus sign between them. And we can flip these around so that instead of 12 plus 2a, we have 2a plus 12. So it's in the same order as this expression. Now we have a plus 12 and 2a plus 12. No, they are not equivalent. When comparing expressions for equivalence, the order of the elements of the expression are important. We have 3x plus 2, and here we have 2 plus x3. We need to write this with the 3 coefficient in the front and the variable on the other side, on the right side, like this. So, 
because we can multiply in any order because of the commutative property of multiplication, we can flip this around to be 3x, and we can change the order and put the 2 back here because of the commutative property of addition. Okay, we're finished with D. We're going to move on to E, generate equivalent expressions. I hope this all makes sense to you, and I hope it helps you have an easier time doing your homework and taking tests. If you get confused, the great thing about videos is that you can just go back and watch the previous ones and watch them as many times as you want. Have a really nice day, and I hope you'll be able to join me for next time. Bye.